Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you, mate? Today, I wanted to do something different to the paranormal because we've been pumping up the paranormal for ages, okay? We're still doing the creepy stuff, all right? But this channel is the one and only That Is Impossible, or AKA That Is Impossible. Okay, make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing because you know that this channel is absolutely incredible. All right? Anyway, this one is called No Way. Videos that will creep you for good. So, without further ado, Dardilly Day, let's take a little look what James has got in store for us today. Without further ado, Dardilly Day, let's do this. <laughs> Shh! Go on, that is impossible. In just a few moments. Oh, I don't like looking because it spoils it for me. What the? It's hot time. Hey, you can't get out of here. You can't get out of here. Insane. The Chargers had real AI robots at their season open. This is crazy. His hands. His hands is as real as mine. Que alguien me explique qué fue eso. Wey. Hi, I'm James Lafleur, and you're watching the Impossible Channel. Oh, Welcome aboard. What's up, mate? Like right. and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. There's been loads of strange things going on in the okay. past couple of weeks, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of these. From strange humanoid AI robots showing up everywhere to clones, mm. mysterious events, and unexplained glitches caught on camera, you're in for a treat. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Well, let's go. Back in 1947, pilot Kenneth Arnold was flying an airplane near Mount Rainier, about 59 miles southeast of Seattle, when all of a sudden he spotted- Sorry, but that coffee's fucking disgusting. Like, I, I could taste chlorine of some sort. Nine unknown objects flying in formation, and they were moving like nothing he'd ever seen before. Mm. Astonished and in complete disbelief, he reported his sighting immediately. And it was this specific encounter that led to the birth of the term flying saucer. And oh. it kind of kick-started all of the fascination that we have nowadays towards unexplained phenomena in the sky. Look at that, mate. What? 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 Mate, that looks like literally a shuttle. That literally looks like a shuttle. What the hell? It's even going against the wind. Wow! Fast forward to today. May ha like these what? Today, where millions of people have phone cameras with them and we have countless sightings of these mysterious objects and unexplained phenomena all over the world. And from all oh my goodness gracious me. In fact, I've got to, I've got to say that over on Casper Vision, I've made a video, okay? And I know who's responsible for all of these. Go and check out the video because you'll know, all right? Who's responsible for these in the air? These weird things going on in the air. All of these mysterious sightings that have been happening lately. There's one specific that's been leaving a lot of people scratching their heads. Wow. A couple of weeks ago in the city of Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam, the owner of a bike shop was enjoying his time riding his bicycle at a park. It was late at night and it was about to rain when all of a sudden he spotted something strange amongst the clouds something that wasn't supposed to be there. Okay. This is what he saw. Whoa! Okay, so like, loads of things are going through my head right now. Sometimes it could be the reflection from a city that fires up into the sky and they call it something. I can't remember what it's called. So, and then like with the lights that go in like that, it's like, you know, these nightclubs sometimes have lights and stuff, you know, like big buildings. They just have lights on the top. A bit like the bat, bat it's not the Batmobile, but the, the, the bat sign, you know? Could be that. Or it could be a UFO. No. 
Look at it. Ảo thật đấy. Không phải là miền núi đâu. Rõ ràng là trời không có cái gì luôn. Trời đang nhiều mưa bão ở nơi mà. See the thing is, right? What's what I find a little bit peculiar is before the world announced that there's UFOs. Okay, we didn't really see many of these phenomena in the sky. Phenomenon, phenomenon, da, 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 in the sky, right? Is it got? Is it to the point of where? Okay, the the government has just gone. Okay, this is getting far too much now. There's too there's too many sightings in the air. We've just got to say that th there are. We we've got to say that we we know about them. Okay, because there's too many things going up in the sky. You know, so many questions, mate, but no no answers. At the time, the bike shop owner and his son thought that maybe this mysterious phenomenon in the clouds could be caused by spotlights or strobe lights mm. from some sort of event yeah, nearby. Yeah, this is what I'm talking but about. But as they continued recording, they started to realize little by little that this was some little by little something else entirely. Whatever this thing is, the bike shop owner and his son realize that it could be some sort of luminous object, a huge one, hiding behind the clouds, mm. and for some reason, leaving some sort of grill-type shadow and pulsating at certain moments. Yeah. Now curious, the bike shop owner and his son continue on recording this strange event. Oh, mate, and is the clouds gonna part? Are we gonna see it? This is what happens next. <laughs> It is, mate. What? Is it moving? Ảo thật. Không hiểu chuyện gì đang xảy ra. Mọi người nhìn này. Tự nhiên trên bầu trời xuất hiện những cái vệt sáng. Sau đó là có đèn nhấp nháy này. What's it doing? Kỳ lạ nhá. Xung quanh này. Xung quanh tối đen như mực mà chuẩn bị đang có có nhiều bão sắp mười nơi này. Did you see that? No. In a specific moment in the video, we can clearly see what looks like an unknown object being ejected from within what? this strange phenomenon in the clouds. Oh, shit! Mate, the alien went into like an evacuation pod and just shot itself out of this thing, mate. Look and at if it. If you slow-mo the video and replay it a couple of times, oh you can my clearly see God. this mysterious object. It's there, and it's moving quite fast. After being posted... Mate, I, 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 th th this is just fucking crazy. That is impossible. ...to the internet. The video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and what? internet users were divided. Some believe that these are spotlights or strobe lights from some sort of event nearby. Others state that this can't be it due to the fact that it's a foggy and rainy day. So in this case, a streak of light, a light column or a light pillar, should be seen being projected from the ground, which... That's true, actually, to be fair. You would see sort of like the god rays. ...is not the case. So this has to be something else entirely. May. But what? Oh! James. Now, what makes this even well more mysterious than it already is, is the fact that this is not the first time such a phenomenon is recorded on camera. There were other similar events, such as the one in Las Vegas in December 2022. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you are directly above the club, right now. What the hell is this? Because like, because you can tell, right? Because there's a, a beam of light going up, which you can see. So it's not coming from the, the the ground. However, I don't know. Would you still see the beams if it was um, reflected from the city? I don't know. I'm not too sure about that one. If it was just like a, a reflection, you know, probably not. In fact, no, you wouldn't. Honestly, this is really strange. There's also one that happened in Spain. Mate, this is some Ghostbusters shit right now, man. This is fucking incredible. Bloody, what's his name? The bloody slime is going to start flying towards the camera in a minute. Blah, blah, blah. 
and many more. The thing is, in these videos we can clearly see that whatever these things are, it's as if there's some sort of luminous object hiding there behind yeah. the clouds or within the clouds. And it's very clear in some of these videos. What the hell is that? What? Mate! It's way bigger than the moon. <laughs> what? Is that? What is that? I don't know. Why is it glowing? Dude, what, what is that? Are you videoing? That? Yes. That's actually I'm on the top of I'm on the top of a building in Cape Town and I don't know what this green Laka bro. Laka. Kiff kiff. Wow. What is that, guys? So I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is really going on here? Is this possibly just a coincidence? Maybe indeed. Mate, it looks like it's actually like pee. Yep, yeah, that's the only letter I see. Drill blocks <laughs> from an event. I? Or is there something I, I, else I, going I, on here? Something far more sinister. Something maybe... Mate, that thing coming flying out of that, mate. That's crazy. And that's not a bird. Not of this world. Have you ever woke up one day feeling as if you were in a dream? It's yeah. that strange feeling that sometimes we have and we don't even know how to begin to explain it. Yes. Some people might call it a deja vu. Mm. Others a glitch. I've got my theory of deja vu. I'll quickly tell you because I've told I've said this before. Deja vu is basically when your mind goes into hyper focus mode. You see something, right? Before so quickly, it's almost before your brain registers it, okay? And then while your then when then your brain registers it and then that's when you think that you've seen it before because you're just in hyper mode right hyper focus mode so if ever you get deja vu keep in that mode mate you're on hyper you're on hyper focus mode you can achieve anything which in the matrix the thing is in the past couple of years a lot of people have been getting this strange feeling as if we're living in some sort of simulation the clouds not moving and look how windy it is i'm literally being blown everywhere in my hammock yeah but that's because wind it, like it, just because it's windy there doesn't mean it's windy like miles away what the fuck are these two doing Mate, this is straight from a bloody horror movie. What the hell just happened? What is this? What is it? Oh, what, what is it? What the fuck is that? What that is? And this is the exact case with some of the videos that I'm about to present to you guys right now. What? Hey, what did I just? What did I, what was I seeing then? Now that's him. I just saw. What? 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 what the, hang on a second. So looking at the reflect. Oh no! So they've got faces here, but then when it turns, now. No, no, hang on. That mirror is facing probably over this direction, right? There's probably two of these pictures. It's over here. It's got to be. Or is it? Because he was facing that way. And oh, what the hell is going on, mate? Now that's him. I just saw him on eyes today. So I saw a few clips of this on TikTok, right? In, in, a, in a baseball game or something like that. This is I like... Okay, hang on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sound stupid. I'm gonna watch it and then start talking about it. Check it out. Now just imagine waking up. Are these right? Okay. Are these real humans with makeup on to make it look like? Because they're they're apparently they're um they're advertising a new film. Okay, and apparently this film, by the way, uh was all was filmed on a Sony FX3 camera, which is a it's like a four grand camera, right? It's quite cheap in comparison to most movies. And this is like the big selling point. It's filmed on a Sony FX3. Anyway, right? So are these people... 
Are these actually robots or actually people dressed up to advert? Fuck One day, Fuck turning on television and finding out that there is someone that acts and looks exactly like you as if you've been cloned. Oh! This kind of reminds me oh. of the movie they cloned Tyrone. Now, Tyrone. if you haven't watched this movie, the movie follows the story of a small town mechanic, Tyrone, who stumbles upon a shocking secret when he discovers that he has been cloned multiple times without his knowledge. Ooh. And as Tyrone and his friends delve deeper into the mystery, they uncover a large conspiracy involving government experimentation and sinister organizations. Creepy, but it's just a movie. Right? right? Well, this is sort of what's been going on recently with an internet account by the name of Pine Straw. Mm. But they, they, they were saying that bloody, what's his name? Kanye West is cloned, right? Have you seen him? He sort of like, he went a bit off the rails, disappeared for a while, came back, and he was a foot fucking taller. <laughs> technology creates an AI robot. For movie promo, it didn't go change. Like uh -huh. many internet users, Pine Straw was surfing the internet when he came across this very strange video. This is insane. Yeah. The Chargers had real AI robots at their season open. Look at how weird. Oh my god, mate, they do look bloody real, right? Weird as shit. So these are actually no, these are robots. Completely creeped wow. out by the videos. He tried to understand what was really going no, on. No, no, see, these are real people. They've got to be. And not only him, the entire internet was completely baffled. Are these real AI robots or is there something else going on here? Mate, no, 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 no. They're real people with masks on that made it look like, and they've been asked to walk around like bloody robots. It's got to be, mate. Because I would understand if the faces, okay, were, were, were AI, were, were robots, but to, but to get the walking, like, to navigate around really easily, in and out of people, navigate to a certain destination stuff, like, I don't think we're quite there yet, you know? But here's where things get even stranger. A couple of moments afterwards, Pine Straw realized that one of these AI robots act and looked exactly... Oh, it does look like him! ...like him. And this is where things amped up. And he started to feel as if it had to be some sort of glitch in the matrix. Oh, that's him. I just saw him my own eyes today. Check it out. They got you see the guy on TikTok that said he, that's him cloned. <laughs> it said that's him cloned. It looked just like him too. <laughs> Needless to say. Whoa, May! What the fuck? Come on! Pine Straw started to immediately upload videos to his account asking for people's Wait, advice. That you gonna clone somebody or create a robot like that and then just make it show up <laughs> at the charges <laughs> and try to bring awareness. And the more I get, bad. Is this possibly a clone? Is this really an AI robot or is there something else going on here? It didn't because the actual real, um, uh, movie, this blue part here, right, is actually see-through. You can see right through their heads. It's not blue, okay? So that tells me that these... Because if they were to make a real AI robot, they might as well, unless you... Okay, the argument could be, well, they need stuff, the actual chips and the, and the workings out and the brain and all that. But they would just make it an absolute hole to, to, to make it a proper replica of the film take long before there were several videos on the internet of people trying to explain this bizarre situation. This man has come forth saying that basically that clone on TV is him. I'm saying like, hi, I'm the actor, I was behind everything. He's saying like his face, his whole face is literally on that AI robot thing that was at the football game. Exactly like him. But do you guys remember when everybody was... Did, did she say he was in the film? Going around putting their photos into that AI generator oh. to look like business women. The terms and conditions of these things, it says that if you give us your face, we will use it however we want, whenever we want. Yeah, I've also read that, right? So when you do put your face up in AI and stuff, it says, it says like, we, we've got your face now and we can do anything like with it. Part of me just thought, oh no. Then the other thought, I just thought, well, I'm all over the fucking YouTube anyway, right? So yeah, crack on, do whatever you want. <laughs> don't do whatever you want okay i'm not saying to go out there and do whatever you want all right i've got fucking limits want to stop following the trend better be careful by using them filters on your phone 
Cause these people out here cloning us without even asking. So all this clone talk going on, you know what this make me think of for real though. They already got our face scan. They already got copies of our voice. And the crazy. Now these are just. Oh yes, they've got their faces. They've got your voices, and they've also got your thumbnail. Uh, your, your, your thumbnail. <laughs> your, your fingerprint. Holy shit, man. The, the next part is just your blood, right? And then that's it, mate. Game over. <laughs> Theories that people are coming up. Oh, shit. I did that DNA thing a while back, didn't I? <laughs> it's fine. Up with. And not only that, most people believe that these supposed AI robots are just actors promoting a movie that's called The Creator. And it could be. But it still doesn't explain how pine straw looks exactly like one of them and it's apparently not just pine straw there are other people also finding oh shit yes out that they look exactly like some of these ai robots which makes it all very very weird May. but it doesn't stop there when it comes to supposed glitches in the matrix, there's one specific video that was uploaded by Eric of a very bizarre phenomenon that happened inside his home and his family caught it all on camera. I wasn't a florist. We woke up to this. Oh, what the hell? Kevin, look, I, I we checked the rest of our dishes and look, there's water in here. There's water in <laughs> here. Oh, what? Wait, I mean this guy is there water? Sí, aquí tenía este agua. Este, ya me lo eché yo todo en la cara. Oh, it's wet. What the Oh my god, look at oh Eric! Oh my god! What the fuck? A large portion of the kitchen had been flooded by the water that was inside the flower pot, and Eric and his family were completely creeped out about it. It was already strange that the flower pot was completely intact, as if nothing had moved it. However, things get even stranger when they open the kitchen closet and find out that there was water splashed all over. It had been splattered on the top shelves, what? on the cups, it's almost like you know when there's an alien invasion, right? Not an invasion, like an a like a, a UFO goes over the house. You know the in the films, an a an alien UFO goes over a house and everything just starts floating because they're just about to take somebody. And then when they take somebody, everything just like vroom, goes back to the floor. Maybe it does that with water, only with water. Any water you've got in the house, it just goes. Vroom, 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 vroom. Fuck me. It'd be mental, wouldn't it? On the dishes. How is that possible if the closet door was completely shut when this happened? A glitch in the matrix or something else entirely? Mm. A prank, maybe? I don't know. But it doesn't stop there. For some mysterious reason in the past couple of years, there have been several videos portraying what's supposed to be these massive cities floating on top of the clouds. Oh yeah. Oh shit. I think that's, that's just clouds, right? But they are sharp, sharp clouds. Oh my God. It's not just one video. It's several different videos that portray the same thing. What are we actually seeing here, people? And at first, the explanation that was given by experts is that- Fucking hell, that's Krypton right there, mate. That this phenomenon is called a Fata Morgana, which would be a complex type of mirage caused by rays of light that are bent when they pass through air layers of different temperatures. However, in some of these videos, it doesn't look like it's a mirage. Not at least a mirage from the buildings on the ground. Mate. In this specific video, for instance, we can clearly see what looks like a castle. No way! I'm not having that shit, mate. If you saw that in real life... What? That looks fake as shit. In 
In this next video, internet users also agree that this looks like a very old type of construction, very different from the buildings that are seen on the ground. But it gets even stranger in a recent video that was posted by an internet account by the name of Crary47. In this specific video, we can see some sort of structure floating on top of a cloud and what looks like people walking from one side oh to the god, other. Oh my god, there is! This there is! This is what was caught on camera. There is people walking on it, mate! It doesn't look like it, there fucking is! They're fucking running around! Did you see that? Yes! What well, looks like a pyramid-shaped structure can be seen on top of the cloud. Mate, this is spinning me right out. This video- James! This video is spinning me right out, mate. Holy moly! Come on! And together with the structure, what looks like people walking from one side to the other. It doesn't look like it! There but is! What makes it even weirder is the fact that there's some sort of blinking light just below it. As if there's something hiding there in the sky. Some internet users suggest that this is a parallel dimension of some kind that for some reason is showing up on our sky. Others say that it could be a hologram and some believe that this is indeed a Fata Morgana, some sort of reflection off of a building on the ground. Oh, yeah, but why is people walking around on the top of a building like that? But I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is going on here? In 2020, what? a group of girls decided to visit the Northern State Recreation Area in Washington State. Now, the Northern State Recreation Area, located in Sadra Woolley, Washington, is a historical site that was once the location of the Northern State Hospital, a state psychiatric hospital. Today, the area has been repurposed into a recreational space including hiking trails, picnic areas and opportunities for bird watching and exploring the hospital's historic buildings. And it was on a sunny day in August 2020 that Gabrielle Quinn and a couple of friends found themselves in a very strange situation. Gabrielle and her friends were visiting the abandoned insane asylum and it was after they had toured most of the abandoned buildings that they caught this on camera. Oh my god, is that a voice they can hear just in the middle of nowhere? What? Ashley. After this. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Man. Ah. Bizarre episode. Ashley and Gabrielle got the heck out of there as fast as possible. After being uploaded, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and most internet users were intrigued. Some internet users suggested that this is most likely a Wendigo or maybe a skinwalker trying to lure them in into the woods. Others say that this is. Where did he go? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, when when did he go? When did he go? Possibly a recording to do the exact same thing. Now, taking into consideration that skinwalkers and wendigos are entities known for trying to lure people into the woods, mimicking humanoid screams, mm. it could be what's going on here. Not only that, they did find a creepy message on one of the walls suggesting that there's some sort of entity that lurks the area. Stay silent or you, it will find you. But still, I'm not too sure. This could be just an elaborate prank or a hoax. Or it could be that they caught some sort of entity like a skinwalker or wendigo on camera. But when it comes to creepy encounters in the woods in the past- Oh man, I wish there was like some proper hardcore evidence of all these wendigos and- creepy crawlies and stuff just like do you know what i mean some proper hardcore evidence that's it we got one there it is i right, capture it put it in the cage and right, i'll fucking let it go whatever man last few months there have been several people claiming to have captured bigfoot or sasquatch on here we camera. go mate the topic of the week <laughs> i've pissed i think i've pissed off some people you know i've pissed off some people about this bigfoot thing oh god and apparently this is the case with this next video that was recorded by a couple of hikers in Ohio. And this is what happened. He's looking at us. Whoop! It's right there. Yeah. You see it? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, that's oh. not a deer. What the devil is that? That's a predator. The eyes are facing forward. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah, that is. Oh, draw your... 
I don't like the look of that. Flash the light, mate! I see you. Those eyes are wide, too. Look at that. Those are... Those are big eyes. Hello. You cocked? Uh, are you cocked? So they've, they've got a gun. All right, let's go. What looks like a large humanoid creature can be seen lurking just behind some of the trees late at night. Unfortunately, we can't exactly make out what this creature is, but it's definitely big. And when it gets up and starts walking on its two feet, the two hikers decide to get the heck out of there. I didn't see it walking on two possible. feet. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is a legit Bigfoot sighting or if it could be, for instance, a bear. You cock? taking into consideration the strange sound that can be heard in the beginning of the video and the way the creature keeps staring at them, mm. it could be that they caught some sort of humanoid creature on camera. But it gets even stranger in this next video that I'm about to show you guys. Okay. This particular situation, ah. the person in question thinks that there's a bear at sight. So he gets his camera and starts recording. And this is when he realizes that whatever this thing is, it's something else entirely. Check this out. It's an orangutan. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, he just disappeared. He just disappeared. About this video, but I want to know your thoughts. Is this the real deal, or is it something else entirely? Oh shit! And then it just disappears. See, I like okay. So since I've started mentioning Bigfoot again, so many people have come up with these like ideas, and not as much ideas or theories as to loads of things supporting the reason why the the Bigfoot's real. Okay, like portals and stuff, and being humanoid and super intelligent. Some people are saying it's aliens. I don't know, man. I just think some of it's a bit far fetched. You know, and another good theory. Okay, somebody actually said on Twitter. All right, same same person said that one theory is that um, the reason nobody shot them before is because a lot of hunters think that it could be somebody just dressed up in a Bigfoot, and they don't want to sort of shoot it. You know. Good theory. Now, when it comes to the fashion world, one could say that there's not much mystery surrounding it. But within the luxurious stores, the glitz and glamour of the runway, and behind the scenes of the high-end boutiques, there's one mystery that's been leaving a lot of people creeped out. In the last couple of years, a certain fashion brand got itself involved in one of the strangest internet mysteries. Look at this, mystery what the fuck is that? that involves missing people, paranormal activity, and much really more. Totally Alright you guys, oh. we're gonna... We're gonna go here now. If you look at this, not a doll, not a doll mannequin, she is looking down. She's definitely looking down. Uh huh. In the pictures that we took, she's looking right at me. And I'm about to show you guys some of the videos that may actually prove all of this. But before that, let me explain how it all started. On March 2020, Christopher G. Maximum coat, please! One of Balenciaga's models supposedly went Oh, fucking Balenciaga. Fuck off. Missing. He was attending a party at a friend's house in the Hollywood Hills area of Los Angeles, California, when his car was found abandoned in a residential area in the same place with his phone and other personal belongings still inside. According to FresherLive.com, LAPD and the entire neighborhood launched a search to find Christopher G without any... Look at that fucking coat! <laughs> Look at it, mate! Right? We found the Bigfoot, ladies and gentlemen! Right? It's this dude, okay? He's just got a coat on. Success. 
Now fast forward to November 2022, Balenciaga got itself involved in mm. a very big controversy. A controversy yeah. that ended up in a 20 fucking disgusting five million dollar lawsuit and much more. At the time, a marketing company that Balenciaga hired came up with a very bad idea. An idea that caught the attention of millions of people all over the world, but not the good kind of attention. This, for instance, is one of the videos that got Balenciaga into this mess. Take a look. What's in your bag? In my bag, uh, like stuff or maybe. For, for you, and you can take things out. Excuse me. Yeah. There's like a like when she starts to cry, like then when when she's gonna pee, I don't know. Then uh, when she's boring. Uh, now I'm pretty certain that you can imagine why this wasn't exactly the best of ideas. No, that, that that's not what. I, okay, that's weird as shit. But that's not what I fucking saw, mate. Yeah, I saw something else that Billings, that the, the, that fucking company, started putting on. Like I, I don't even want to fucking talk about it because it pisses me right off, mate. It really pisses me right off. When it comes to marketing campaigns. It didn't take long before Balenciaga became the focus of several controversies and crazy ideas and theories. This is a massive scandal. One of the big questions has been why uh, celebrities lie. Internet them. users started to speculate what was exactly the message that Balenciaga was trying to send with this very creepy and bizarre campaign. Strange, isn't it? But it gets even stranger when on April 2023, a woman noticed something really bizarre about a mannequin in one of Balenciaga's store in Paris. Okay, people, tell me something. So this is a store. Mate, it looks so damn real. It looks so damn real. In Paris. This is a man's store in Paris. And this is a, a um, mannequin that they say that Look at the eyes! They made <laughs> and put this in the store. This boy look like somebody damn bomb. Look at his hand. Wait, I'm doing it through the hole. Look at the boy hands. Look, the hands. His hands. His hands is as real as... When I they do look really over the top realistic, mate, don't they? first watched this video, I was impressed by the realistic... I've seen this video clip before, by the way, and I'm going to debunk it, okay? ...mannequin that she had found in a Balenciaga store. It's way too realistic, and it does have a very creepy vibe to it. But still, it could be a wax statue or something like that. Mm. But this is where things take a really strange turn. Not only does the mannequin look exactly like Christopher G, the missing model and designer for Balenciaga. Oh, what? I didn't know that. Holy shit. The mannequin also appears to turn its head and look straight at the woman in a certain moment in the video. Watch turn closely. Turn its head? Okay, let me... This is freaking serious, I swear. If anybody have this guy missing... <laughs> if anybody have this guy missing, please. This is crazy. I've never seen anybody look so freaking real. How oh, you I have this man in the store sit on? Look. Look at that. You see? This this is freaking crazy. Look at the, look in the guy eye. See, this is where they think that he's turned his head and looked. It it's not. He's not done it. Because the first part you see, she's looking at his head like that, and then she looks down at his hand, looks up, looks down at his hand, looks up. And then the second part where they say that he turns his head, she moves to the left, then looks down, and then pans across. So it's like, it's literally just, it's just a different angle of his head. And them said they made this mannequin and put clothes on him and have him sit down in the window. Look at the guy friggin' face. I love her accent, man. Fucking epic. This look like the friggin' guy who was in the arm. Did you see that? In a certain moment in the video, the mannequin appears to turn its head and look straight back at the woman. See, that's where she turns goes to the left. Is this a camera illusion, paranormal activity, or maybe something else? 
After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. Imagine though if it was legit and he was in there, it's just like, get me out, get me out. It'd be like that. What's that? What's that film? Bloody um, Get Out. Yeah, mate. What a, an amazing film. You've got to see that. Bloody brilliant. And a lot of people all over the world were leaving comments and very much convinced that this was actually Christopher G, the missing model and designer for Balenciaga. And, well, it actually does look like Christopher G. Well, maybe they've done that deliberately. I don't know why he's missing, though. The only thing is, I did a quick research and Christopher G apparently did a live video on his Instagram recently explaining that he was alive and well. But mm. the thing is, most internet users weren't much convinced. One internet user stated, that's an old pre-recorded live, not a new one. Yeah, but why would he say he's alive and well? And if the mannequin is a wax statue... It's like me doing a live now going, Hey guys, <laughs> just let you know, I'm alive and well, okay? Right, take care, bye-bye. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that. I'd be like, what the fuck, Ben, are you on about? Why does his jawline look kind of strange? Many others agreed that he still has the same hairstyle since 2020, the year that Christopher G went missing. Well, to be fair, I've had the same haircut since the fucking 90s, I think. <laughs> One internet user made an excellent point. I haven't. If that's him, why didn't he explain the process in doing a lookalike mannequin and make more videos other than the live stream? And finally, one internet user added, To me, he doesn't look like the same in the live stream. Something is off. Mm. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is the case. It could just be a very well done wax statue taking into consideration that there are many more look-alike mannequins in various different Balenciaga stores. But then again, is this possibly just another creepy and elaborate marketing campaign from Balenciaga? Or is there something else going on here, something far more sinister? What's Imagine. your take? Imagine if he's actually in there, just that's what he's, that's for the rest of his life now. That would be horrible. Now, I've never been to the Philippines, mm. but I know it's a stunning tropical beautiful. paradise in Southeast Asia, full of beautiful places, wow. islands, beaches. Mate. It's a traveler's dream come true. Uh -huh. But beneath the sunny skies and palm trees lies a spine-tingling myth. It's the kind of stuff that will make you question absolutely everything you thought you knew about reality. Mm. In Filipino folklore and mythology, Encountering a photo or a video of a headless person is often associated with a bad omen or a supernatural entity what? known as the Manangal. Now, the Manangal is a mythical creature in Philippine folklore, and it's particularly something that happens more in Visayan and Tagalog regions. It is usually depicted as a woman with wings and usually is seen at night. Oh. Now, I didn't find what many videos hell? that actually prove the existence of no, that's the a kite. This Menengal creature. What I did find, however, was a series of videos and pictures of people enjoying their time with friends, families, normal pictures and normal videos. But when the pictures and videos are developed or uploaded to a computer, some kind of creepy glitch occurs. Oh, don't say they've not got any heads, mate, please. Please! And the person in question appears to be headless. Oh, no! In the Philippines, this is supposed to be some sort of paranormal what? phenomena that happens, and it's a sign of a bad omen. Now, I did find several videos that portray this exact situation, and one of the most popular and convincing <laughs> videos that I've come across is one of a couple of friends enjoying their time at a party. This is what was caught on camera. This Check is this how out. we do it! Oh my god, he literally didn't have a head, mate. Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Where's your head at? In this particular video, you can clearly see what looks like a headless person dancing at the what? party. Now, I did watch this video a couple of times or maybe more, and I still can't see how this is possible. There's also another video where a couple of people are recording some sort of celebration at a gym. And this is what happens. Look, mate, he's not got a head. He's literally not got a head. Let's now have another night revealing of a tease. 
In this video, something very similar occurred. Like, what the fuck? Is it, I can sort of see here, has he got like a blue, maybe he's got a blue um, mask like type thing on, balaclava or something, same color as the wall, and it just it looks like he's got no head. Curse, but I'm not exactly sure if this is the real deal. And if you start searching for the topic, you'll find countless videos of this supposed glitch or paranormal phenomena. Are these videos fake, maybe CGI, or possibly the real deal? But it doesn't stop there. When it comes to strange and unexplained paranormal phenomena, there's what, what the fuck? one specific video that's been leaving the entire internet creeped out. It's outside. What? What the? Too scared to open my door. A couple of weeks ago, an internet account by the name of Alyssa094 What the hell is that all about, mate? Or posted a very, very strange video. Now, Alyssa is used to uploading vlog-type videos of her and her family having a good time. But in one specific video, things take a very, very dark turn. And this is what Alyssa captured on camera. All right, my daughter's room is up there, and we keep seeing some... All right, put your flag. Well, oh, don't show her, for Christ's sake. Just say, just, eh, hey, nothing there. It's nothing there, love. Okay, it's just your imagination. Just light up. <laughs> okay, wait. We're going to look down for a minute. But put your flashlight down. Let's see if we can get it to go again. All right, flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Watch it again. I'm not seeing anything. Put it down. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh, look at Did that. you see that? No. Well, you probably didn't. Like most people, I had to watch this video a couple of times to understand what was going on. Watch closely as the blinds move by themselves, as if there's someone peeking over them from the room above. All right, put your flashlight up. <laughs> okay. Completely creeped out about what was going on, Alyssa uploaded the video to the internet and amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. Some internet users left comments saying that she was too calm for this to be the real deal. But I don't know if I agree. People I still didn't see what the hell was going on. React differently. Watching the video over and over, I noticed that when she flashes the light into the room, there's no shadow being cast, no reflection, nothing. So right now I found out why yesterday my this video didn't process to HD because I deleted one of my files out of the video and YouTube couldn't recognize it. So anyway, this is the ending of the That Is Impossible video. Thank you so much. It was an epic video, wasn't it? Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it.